The way we mine this property is, is uniquely different than most concepts that people have about mining. It's not a deep mining, it's all in the surface sands, taking out the titanium minerals that are located in this deposit. Essentially, we're taking out three grains of sand out of 100 grains, and we're putting the rest back. Before we mine the land, we assess how many acres of wetlands there are, and as part of the reclamation process, you put back the timber land as well as the, the wetlands, acre per acre. And once the topsoil is removed, then we actually mine with a dredge and a floating gravity concentration plant referred to as a wet mill. Now, both the dredge and the wet mill float in a pond together, about 15 to 20 acres in size. And the dredge is in the front of the pond, digging against the sand bank and pumping the sand slurry over to the wet mill. So as the dredge and the wet mill move along, they're actually extracting out the ilmenite and the zircon and the starlight. They actually are all much heavier than the sand that exists here on Trail Ridge. And so we can separate those out using gravity, much like panning for gold. So 97 to 98% of what the dredge actually mines is rejected by the wet mill and redeposited on the backside of the pond within a matter of minutes. That actually begins the reclamation process. That sand is recontoured, the topsoil is brought back, and generally within one to two years of the time when we mine through an area, pine seedlings are put back. Also wetlands are restored, and we've been tremendously successful. When we get through, the topography of the land, the characteristics, and the hydrology of the soil is roughly the same. The watersheds are returned, and then the wetlands that we put back are similar to the wetlands that were here before the mining operation occurred.